Okay, I took a bit of a break, as you can kind of hear my voice is uh, on its way back, but I was sick for a week and um, had to had to get my voice back. But we're going to look at this last shelf finally, see what's on it, and uh, that'll that'll be the, uh, the the final part of this section of the collection, although there's, there's more to come. Stay tuned. Uh, this last shelf starts off with The Who. I have a pretty good run of The Who. Um, not everything, but most of them. The albums I kind of pick up along the way. You can find Who albums uh, very easily. They're all out there in multiple um, iterations. This is a nice uh, version of Quadrophenia. This deluxe edition has uh, Pete Townsend's original demos, and they are they are fully produced demos. There's they're they're multi-track uh, extravaganzas there. Um, and then, you know, I, I like these later Who albums. I especially like, um, is it on this one? Yeah, Eminence Front is is maybe my favorite uh, Who song. I know it's not at the top of many people's list, but um, I really do like that track. They play it live still. Um, and then these later Who albums, uh, you can you can get super cheap those um, in, in brand new condition. This is this was my first, uh, you know, introduction to the, the, the deeper catalog uh, was this Ultimate Collection um, a two disc uh, hits collection and uh, as you can see I expanded to get the albums there uh, a couple of Wilco albums here we have uh, Yankee Hotel Foxtrot I, I listened to this for the first time working for the uh, college radio station that uh, I worked for and, and really fell in love with that album this one um, A Ghost is Born uh, that is a nominee for the alternative album of the year I think it won it might have won that year uh, Brian Wilson's Smile. This is a recent pickup in this nice uh, slipcase with a booklet and everything. A project that took a long time for, for Brian Wilson to be able to complete. Very nice. Here's Amy Winehouse. And uh, uh, the, the, the Edgar Winter Band. Yeah, Edgar Winter Band um, uh, have a, a record of them as well. Steve Winwood's Back in the High Life. I, I love this album. This is... Uh, this is the throwback to again listening in the car on on long trips to uh, visit family. This was this was a cassette that we had in the car, and uh, every track on that is, is a winner. And then here's uh, I think this was the follow up. Maybe this was two albums later, but uh, Roll with It um, also has some really good tracks. Lean on Me, Best of Bill Withers, and then we have a run of Stevie Wonder. These are all uh, album of the year Grammy winners. He was on a tear in this phase of his career. He was, every year, I think the year that Paul Simon won for uh, uh, Still Crazy After All These Years, I think he thanked Stevie Wonder for not making an album that year. Kind of opened the door for somebody else to win. But yeah, Stevie Wonder was on a run. This is probably my favorite of those uh, three albums, Songs in the Key of Life. Just, just tons of good stuff. Tons of great material uh, on that album. Okay, here's an interesting one. This is uh, this is called E Prime. It's an EP from a band uh, called Woven. I don't know much about Woven. This came to us in the uh, co again a college radio station. This came to us. Um, this is about a 20, 25 minute long um, EP. But this is some great sort of um, electronic alternative, um, but still very melodic uh, music. And I don't know if if the band. Um, release anything beyond this uh, I guess I could look it up but uh, this if you can find this you can find that for under 10 bucks definitely pick it up I, this is a this is a little hidden uh, hidden uh, item there uh, not many people know about um, some weird Al. we have the UHS uh, UHF um, soundtrack album we have a hits collection volume 2 um, which has a lot of his, his sort of uh, late 80s early 90s stuff on there and then this is the album that I had uh, growing up. This is Bad Hair Day with, of course, Amish Paradise, but you also have the, the Lump Parody Gump, which is is, is pretty great. Um, the Alternative Polka, it was that just sang to me. Um, and I really like some of the, the originals on here. Night Santa Went Crazy, uh, um, I'm So Sick of You. Since You've Been Gone is fantastic. It's a really weird song by Weird Al, so that makes sense. All right, Songs in the Key of X. This is the X-Files soundtrack, um, which has a great uh, uh, Sheryl Crow track on there. On the outside is good. Uh, the Foo Fighters uh, down in the park, which is on that um, Color and the Shape reissue CD. But uh, top to bottom, this is a pretty good collection of um, tracks. I don't know if it's necessarily from the show, but certainly connected in some way, inspired by they just put it all together. Yaz, or Yazoo, however you want to call him. This is upstairs with Eric. 
Um, here's some yes. So yes. So I have this. I had to buy this. Uh, 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 very best of the of yes. I'm not really into all the albums because I had picked up this originally. This is a, a two CD yes, um, and it's got all it's got all the tracks that you would expect. Uh, however, um, the fine print. A lot of these are live versions. Um, this is a budget uh, um, thing that I picked up really cheap, brand new. And uh, it's not to say that they're bad live versions, but um, if you want all the studio tracks, get something like that one. All right, we have uh, Best of Dwight Yoakam here. I, I do like a little bit of Dwight Yoakam. And then we get into some Neil Young. Neil Young is one. If You, you see him all the time in, uh, in the used bins, and when you see him, you should pick him up. And then uh, this one, I actually bought this one new. This is Greendale. Um, when I bought it, it was new, and it came, it comes with a DVD, him playing a, a show, a solo acoustic show in, in Ireland. So if you can find Greendale, first of all, it's a great album, but second of all, find, uh, I don't know if they all came with the DVD or if it was just a limited run, uh, but definitely pick up the DVD. DVD. It's a great show, and then here's the hits as well. All right, over here to this last section, uh, disease. What's in disease? Well... Zappa, Zappa's in the Z's. We have um, the collection there, but we also have some albums as well. Shake Your Booty, Apostrophe. Hot Rats might be my favorite uh, of the albums that I have. Um, these earlier ones, the you know, with the mothers and Freak Out and everything, I think I, I think I like those less. I like his more, I don't, I hesitate to call it sophisticated because it is Frank, um, but um, when he kind of got out of like just trying to some of these are, are kind of just noise collages, or he's he's definitely playing around with the medium. These there's more I guess musical stuff on these. I'm not sure about what I'm talking about, but um, I do like I do like the later stuff more than the, the earlier Zappa stuff. Um, and then we have Zwan, Zwan's only album. This was Billy Corgan of Smashing Pumpkins, along with Jimmy Chamberlain and uh, a cast of uh, additional musicians. This is the version. If you bought it when it came out, you uh, you can pick up this version that comes with a DVD. And the DVD has some live performance and documentary type footage there. You can see the there, there's so much Zwan music that did not get released because the band burned out pretty quick. Um, there's supposedly supposed to be a, a box set coming soon with additional Zwan music, of which there I guess there's a lot out there of Zwan. Um, and then ZZ Top. Uh, this big box with uh, with these out with the uh, first was it eight albums ten albums um, included so that's a pretty good run of ZZ Top and then um, later stuff we have stuff like Antenna and uh, Mescalera that's a good track the title track Mescalera is pretty good and then the final thing here on this track uh, or on this list is uh, we get into the numbers this is 311 um, just the best of 311 okay there is obviously more on the shelf though. Uh, here, here's some, uh, these are, are video game soundtracks that just kind of came with, you know, pre-orders. A couple of them I bought separate, but, um, you know, you, like the, this, uh, Mario Galaxy. This is, Mar this is a fantastic soundtrack, just as music on its own. Uh, and then Breath of the Wild and this Metroid thing. Um, back when I was collecting video games and really into that stuff. But I kept the soundtracks to those games for sure. They're, they're, they're nice CDs to get. All right, and these are all comps. These are all compilations. Um, pick these up whenever I see them. Like this Power of the 80s thing here. And there's another one. For this one. Yeah, 80s songs. That's a really great title. Uh, these are both three-disc sets, and you just see tons, tons of material. These are all original artists. you got to be careful with these kind of compilations to make sure you're getting... Um, the original artist. There's some like cover versions out there where it's you know some you know they don't, don't want to pay the license for the for the master recording, but they'll I guess license the, the track or the music for whatever um, do their own version. But these are these are solid compilations, big three disc sets. Those are like five or six bucks, brand new. Um, this is a uh, 20th Century Masters '90s rock, which for some reason it's kind of expensive on on eBay. I guess they didn't print a whole bunch of them. But uh, you know, don't don't pay a ton of money for any CD, really. Um, find them in the five dollar bin all day long. Uh, anything with the word "buzz" in it, I'm going to take a look at because these are all the songs that were on the radio when I was coming of age and starting to listen to music. So I've got probably you know a hundred versions of of what I got by Sublime and what's the frequency, Kenneth. You know, those are always on these kinds of things. But you can build up again anything with the word "buzz" in it: buzz ballads, buzz cuts, buzz bin. You name it. If it's got the word "buzz" in it, they're they're 
they're shooting for me as a uh, as a potential customer. There's another the MTV Buzzbin. There's a this is volume two. There's a volume one that I used to have that I would like to find again and be able to uh, to reacquire that. I think some and this is as seen on TV. So these were probably like you saw the infomercials or whatever that came on late at night, and you could buy these uh, these compilations. Yeah, you went you went Creed and Three Doors Down and Switchfoot and Some Forty One. Like don't have to buy the albums. You can get these compilations. This was just called classic 80s rock. I'm not quite sure um, he was putting this kind of stuff out. But again, another solid collection there. This one I found it. This is a, I think it's a Best Buy exclusive. I found it at Best Buy. Heavy Metal Icons. Got some really interesting stuff on there. Um, if you're into uh, sort of an introduction to uh, to metal. Uh, this Jackal song, The Lumberjack, sucks. I hate that song. But um, most of it's pretty good there. Here's a Millennium 80s New Wave Party. You want your new wave stuff there's this is a pretty good collection as well you put this on and I don't think too much about it here we have a couple Motown gold volume one and volume two these are both two discs uh, two disc set two disc sets so four discs of, of Motown classics from a variety of artists sweeping the whole uh, the whole history of Motown there and then in the same gold series here's uh, here's new wave gold this is another this is a solid two disc as well you get stuff like, you know, Animotions on here, ABC, um, Adamant, uh, who else? Blondie, of course, and The Vapors, M. Yeah, this, was, this, is, this one's full. Soft Cell. Lots of great stuff on this, on this collection. Uh, I picked up these Now things um, at a thrift shop for like a dollar. So I was like, yeah, why not for a buck? Um, these, are, these are older, so these are not, you know... You think of now as like these are the current hits. Well, these were the current hits whenever these were released, obviously. This uh, Punko Rama, this is volume, I think, three. Punko Rama, Punko Rama. Oh, no, number, number five. Um, this is a, as, as all punk compilations are. This is a very uneven CD. There's some good tracks, there's some utter crap on there. Pure Disco. I, re I remember seeing these uh, infomercials uh, all the time, these commercials for this Pure Disco collection. Um, back when it was sort of cool to like disco for a hot minute in the 90s. Like, hey, remember disco? Sure, we all remember disco, right? Um, here's another 70s compilation. This is more um, rock and pop kind of stuff. Less, less disco there. Uh, this is interesting called Teenage Dirtback, the pop punk album. Another cheap one you can find, three discs. Uh, pop punk, but there's like some really strange choices on here. Like... Uh, I think like Black Hole Sun by Soundgarden is on here, and um, you know a, a, a few other tracks where it's like, okay, this is this is pop punk. I got Corn Freak on a Leash, really? That's pop punk? Um, no, but you know, for the most part, this is again a lot of artists and a lot of songs that I, I wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to to find the whole album or whatever. That's a good compilation to pick that stuff up. Uh, here we have a, a compilation of MTV Unplugged performances, just, you know, different tracks from different artists in here. Um, a good version of Graceland from Paul Simon's in here. Got Lenny Kravitz, Are You Gonna Go My Way? Uh, yeah, good. This, is a, this is a solid one. And then the last one over here is this VH1 Metal Mania Strip, another acoustic album, but these are all um, metal bands doing their... Uh, Getting super in touch with their feelings and playing acoustic and whatnot. But um, anyway, that is this final shelf of the main collection here. Um, as you can see, we've we've gone through it all. It's all been done. But wait, there is more. There is more to this collection than what we've seen so far. So stay tuned, and I'll show you some other stuff. Thanks for watching.